I've never really made a New Year's resolution and I don't think I ever will because I don't really follow through on things, let alone keep something for an entire year. Now I feel like I just kind of gave up even pretending that I was gonna do them, so I don't have one. Like if you know you're gonna fail at it, why would you try? Now I wanna write my own book and I have like several unfinished books, so I just need to finish one of my books. Get better at asking for my needs. I feel like I'm the type of person that should do New Year's resolutions, but I never have. I really am going to learn a lot more about Catholicism this year. I have to rededicate myself to reading in 2018. That's a must. Lost my mind. Tumultuous, whirlwind, and shallow. <laughs> Hard, heartbreaking, magical. Dramatic, disappointing, and strength. Hard, a lot of new experiences, which is not a word, but whatever. And it was very like growth oriented. Growth, pain, reflection. I just like changed a lot in a bad way for like half of the year. So it was just really weird and crazy and not good. And then I had to like get back on track like the end of the year. There was a lot of a few people coming in and out of my life and like past relationship things that were really like rocky and hard to deal with. I feel like the, my self esteem was really shaken this year for the first time in a long time. Whirlwind because a lot happened. Like from changing my hair so much, traveling a lot, visiting different friends. Usually I'm really in touch with myself, but this year there was so much going on. Usually I allow that to be like the cheese on top, but I allowed it to be like the meat. Like, oh, this is all I need. Like, yeah. Like I just got really um, swept away and all the fun stuff happening. I was just like, this is it. Woohoo. Because I was focusing on the like external world more and just everything that's going on around me and not what's inside of me. So it all just like slipped out from under me and I was like, frick. <laughs> it was a really hard year. Just a lot of like very challenging like trials that I went through. And I think I grew a lot through that, but it was really, really intense. Heartbreaking, cause I had a really bad heartbreak at the beginning of the year. And it took me probably six months to get over that. Magical because this last like three months of the year have been so incredibly like joyful and beautiful. And I just feel like it was very hard for like the first two thirds of the year three quarters, I don't know. And then the last part has just been like so much joy and so many blessings and so many like new things in my life, so. A lot of people let me down this year, but I found so much strength in everything. I experienced so much freaking pain this year. It was unreal. I'm just so happy now because it's over. I learned so much, I grew so much this year. Cause I was kind of forced to, I was like, well, I'm gonna grow from this experience or else threaten myself, you know, it works a lot. So this year I started to actually think about myself more and like, who am I? And like, what do I like and what do I want? I just feel like there were like a couple moments like with my friends and with people I really cared about where I just felt really loved and those moments don't really happen that much. So every time something like that happened, then it was like, wow, like, okay. <laughs> the mission trip that we did, I all, that's like easy, like hands down. That was the, I felt the most connected all year and I felt really in touch with God and I felt like I was like doing something meaningful and it was so fun to like hang out with those kids and like give so much back to the community in Memphis that we went to. That was just a really good time. I don't know if this was the best moment, but it was one of the best moments of 2017 was finally seeing our album, Sad Girls Club, come together. I think that album coming out was just like such a payoff. So much hard work, so much time spent, and such a beautiful coming together. The month of June was really good. I went on the mission trip and just like really got like rooted and grounded and just on like a really good like mindset and path that whole month. My family's parties are kind of one of some of my favorite moments of this year and also like all the walks that I went on. Walking is one of my new hobbies. <laughs> Best moment 2017 was definitely when my boyfriend, Nick, finally, finally moved to the same freaking state as me. Best moment of the year, changed my life, definitely. One thing I learned this year is that you 
are a certain way, like you are yourself, you're individual, you're unique, and like you have your own things. So one, figure those things out, but two, don't try to like go against yourself or like be something you're not like for a dumb reason. Do things that make you happy and like be around people who make you happy, but not in that dumb surfacey way where like, oh, I feel good right now. I guess fulfilled is a better word. Be yourself and be around people who like you so that you can just like chill. I learned that I'm stronger than I think and I can handle more than I think. I learned that my heart could be shattered into a million pieces and then come back together even more beautiful than it was before. And that the brokenness added this element to me, this feeling of awareness of being alive and how fragile life is and how precious it is. So I have like a new awareness going into 2018. I can choose how I allow people to treat me. I learned more of how to be myself, but also more of how to trust myself how to go through like seasons of loneliness and seasons of growth, like kind of on your own and it's like scary and it's weird. And I learned that I can actually like dive into those things and get through them, which I didn't know before. I just kind of like stayed out of it and I was like, okay, what's growth? I don't know, who is she? I learned that if I have that like whisper, like a voice is telling me like, do this. I need to do it. If I don't do it, I'm going to regret it. Listen to your intuition. I'm looking forward to putting myself out there a lot more, just who I am on social media and in real life. It'll probably be somewhat bad and good. I'm turning 18 next year, so I think that's gonna be like a big turning point for me. I kind of just want to explore a lot of the like work opportunities that I've wanted to do my entire life. I feel like I'm really excited to this is so weird, but like do things for the right reason in 2018 and be clear headed. I want to face things head on and do things directly and not let things get all mixed up. I'm looking forward to trying a lot of new things and actually like giving my all to things instead of holding back. Learning to do things when I am scared of them, which is mostly everything. I'm just looking forward to like new projects, new collaborations with my sisters. I just think We've all kind of grown a lot this year and we're ready to like step out even more in the new year. Guys, quiet! You guys in the kitchen! I can't you just get a little shock collars or something. So, no. <laughs> no, you should not. Yes, we should. Can you see my pants? Your pants? No. Do you want to? Yeah, I mean, okay. I can... No, no, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I'm prepared for this. It was pretty deep. Uh, I don't remember things that happened. <laughs> I have no memory. <laughs> 40 degrees outside. Jeez, don't be so self conscious. I don't. I just. I know you know. I need my hair to frame my face. Which do you care more about, the merch advertising or the hair? Both! <laughs> Okay, this hat is Sad Girls Club merch, which the link is in the description for. Also, it's SimmerlyMusic.com slash store. So go check out the Sad Girls Club merch. It is really awesome. I wear it all the freaking time. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.